Um, there's this person that was four years old. Her name's Kinley. She remembered me from our YouTube channel. Does that mean you're famous? Yeah. Welcome back to Road to Roop's Homestead. Uh, I guess I should say welcome back to me because it's been about six or seven weeks since we posted a video. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about what's been going on and give you an update on our house and just kind of get everybody caught up. So since our last video, we've had a lot of new subscribers. So thanks guys for uh, joining us and following along with us as we go. And everybody that's been along with us for the whole time, thank you for sticking around and uh, sticking out this long, long way. After the last video, um, which was uh, end of July, it's all running together now, um, I had the opportunity to go to Florida and help out with the COVID crisis. Um, if you know and been following along, uh, I work as a registered nurse and uh, I've been off for about five or six weeks up until then, uh, just getting the house going here. You know, we moved from Las Vegas to Oklahoma and um, after we got the air conditioner all put in, I got a phone call from a travel company and really needing help down in Florida uh, with all the sick patients and understaffed there in Florida. So I went down there and did a four week contract and uh, spent some time down there and have been back here for about two weeks and just been kind of piddling along with the house, trying to get back into it. Let's, uh, let's look around and see what we got going on so far. Cassandra and Papa were able to get the well pump in. You know, we already had the well dug and it turned out pretty good. Um, took them some time to get uh, the water cleared up. They had to lift the, lift the well. I'm not sure how else to say that. They had to put an air compressor into the bottom of the well and lift it all out. Um, yeah, now we're talking. We are air lifting that well. Now we're talking. That is some nasty brown water. I guess that's where red dirt comes from, not yeah, Oklahoma. So yeah, we got all our silt, all your silt. After they did that, they they ran thousands of gallons of water through it over several days, and eventually got the water to clear up. We've tested it; it has no bacteria. All the minerals and everything are spot on according to the test. It has a great taste. There's no metallic taste or any other kind of weird taste. So it's good, clean, clear water, and so that's really great. Puts that's a lot of air right now. Could be pure too. Does it smell or is it just air? Okay. I can smell the rubber hose. run the water lines from the, the well pump house here um, all the way to the house and get it inside. Collins filling in her section of the water line. Good job, Collins. And then, okay, 
This section was Graham's. Good job. <laughs> and this section was Dawson. He did a good job Hi. too. We started with the well pump, lowering it in, and this is at 40 feet. We we have water at 30 feet, so it's about 10 feet of water. We've set it in there. We got it tied off a few different ways, and so that way you don't lose it in there, lose the pump. So that well is 170 feet deep, and we don't want to lose it. As you can see here, this is where the water is coming into the house. That's the white pipe there. And then we have a, a shutoff valve. And then the blue pipe will go to the water heater. It's a tankless ream water heater. And then it will connect here and then run to the uh, other parts of the house. So you can see, uh, so far I've been able to run all the water lines. This is the little laundry room that goes over um, to the washer and dryer that will sit there in the laundry room. And then goes over into our bathroom, down to the sinks, and then over into the, where the toilet will be and the shower. This is the wall to the shower. And then up there, that water will go down the wall and into the kitchen. So, uh, so we've been able to finish up some of the electric uh, with, along with some of the shiplap in the kitchen area here. That uh, outlet right there will be for the vent hood. And then, the cabinets are just still sitting there they haven't been secured yet but um, so into the hallway more shiplap and the reason I did this is so that we can pull the lines keep the lines straight all in one even into the bathroom into the bathroom as you can see and then now we can uh, really start getting everything done in the bathroom so that we have a functioning uh, functioning uh, shower and toilet and sink so we have insulation that I've put in the sound difference is amazing and then they uh, started uh, with the plumbing, sewer plumbing yesterday. So that's the drain for the shower. I haven't got the toilet in yet. And then this is water coming over to the sink and then the sewer pipes that will be going down underneath the house for the dual vanity sink. So we have spent a couple of nights over here camping out as the kids call it. So we've been able to do that because we do have air conditioning. We do have refrigerator it's working great and then we have a stove that Cassandra actually wired up she only shocked herself once so that's pretty good so we've been able to uh, utilize that and actually have some meals so we've been camping out and having a good time we have a little shower outside you can see there we're been really roughing it and the kids have their air mattresses